Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73 back with the Double E Show Trucking. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm sorry. I apologize. But we're back to continue the career. In this episode, we are going to take this uh, uh, trailer of some kind of uh, large capacitors from Avalanche Steel over to Arkansas. We're going to Arkansas. We're heading towards Idaho uh, to get ready for the Idaho release from SCS. So we're going to try to get close and set up, uh, set up over that way, taking jobs in that area, until Idaho releases. So we're going to get underway now. So happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully I've adjusted the game audio properly. If not, I'll, I'll take care of it in post. But we are definitely uh, high in the volume uh, lately. All right, so... Make sure I make that corner. I did. Excellent. roll the windows down so it looks like I need some sleep so we're probably gonna have to hit a rest stop on the way and there's a pedestrian walkover Across the railroad tracks, and it looks like it bends around. Quite beautiful like in the trees here in Tennessee. Oh, just went through a red light. Thank goodness there wasn't a cop around. I'd be done for. It says the speed limit's 45, so we'll uh, we'll get close to that, but I'm not going to get up to that necessarily because I know we've probably got a stop coming up, and this is a fairly heavy load. If we get out on the highway, I know it gets much louder. We'll roll the window up. Definitely, definitely going to need some sleep. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, goodness. All right, so we're heading out west. window up. Come on, car, go by. Right on. Okay. Then we're going to get on 40 West.
Yep. And we are underway. Hope everybody's holding up well out there in the uh, the states and across the globe. If you're watching from elsewhere. Gonna hit the map button real quick. Now normally I would pull over and do this, but we're gonna need to set up a plan to get some rest. Um I'm thinking Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to rest about here to make sure that I have enough uh sleep to get the whole distance. Whoops. Stay in your lane, Jibba. So it's been a hot minute since we've been in. Um, I released a channel update on the main channel today. Um, and basically I apologize for not uh, getting these uh, these videos out for the trucking channel been extremely busy I just bought a brand new truck well not brand new it's new to me um, but I bought it from a dealer and it's uh, immaculate and uh, I'm very happy but with the COVID-19 stuff going on I was unable to register it myself. It would have been two months to get an appointment at the registry. So I opted to have my um, insurance company register it. Um, but I still won't be able to um, still won't be able to get those plates actually uh i'm recording this on a sunday um it'll be another two days before i get plates so you'll be seeing this tomorrow on a monday and i'll be getting the plates on tuesday then i'll be able to drive my truck that's an F-150, platinum, fully loaded, all kinds of options. Got the big 6.2 liter V8. Gets really crappy gas mileage. 11 city, 16 highway, 13 combined. But I don't put a lot of miles on my vehicles, um, so I probably won't piss through gas as much as the average person might. Um... That being said, I still have to take it easy because, you know, times are tough. But yeah, it looks really beautiful and uh, it's got super low miles. Uh, it's a 2013 and it's got an average of, depending on whether it was built in early 2013 or late 2013, it's either 7,700 miles or 8,200 miles a year on it, which is super low. I put about 2,500 to 3,500 miles a year on my vehicles, so it'll still be super low when, when I pay it off. But we needed the second vehicle um, so I could get back and forth to doctor's appointments and... Uh, the household errand stuff.
I'm uh, I'm gonna try to build up a backlog of videos. What that means is I'm gonna record a bunch of these back to back to back, and that way, when those instances arise where I am unable to record a trucking video, I already have some in the can. And that's just to ensure that uh, we don't go two weeks without a video again. So uh, I'm gonna record this one we're watching now. And when I'm done, I'm probably gonna record uh, two or three more. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, European Truck Simulator. So to discuss what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be driving an ATS. Uh, I cannot bypass because this is uh, is this where I need to, to sleep? This is where I bookmarked for sleep. Good. Right on. Okay, Let's park and brake on, drop her down to neutral, engine off, go outside the truck, hit enter. Not bad, 8.30 at night, we should definitely have less traffic. Wait a minute, what did that say? Okay. Oh, it's still talking about sleep. So, uh, yeah, and in ETS 2, I am going to attempt to get over towards Italy, which is where a, uh, a delivery event is currently going on. Alright, so I'm fully rested. I got plenty of fuel. Says we'll be getting there. It's 9 o'clock now. About five and a half hours. Right on. Woohoo! I'm all over the road. Still all over the road. Okay. Time to stop. I'm distracted. Thomas leveled up. Excellent. I need to do some driver management when we uh, when we get to Arkansas. Make sure that they're uh, leveling up in the disciplines I want them to. Right on. Memphis, Tennessee discovered. Woohoo! They've also been updating the coast-to-coast uh, -coast map. It is at 10.11. Uh, uh, 
or 10.12, something like that. Um, a little bit of jitteriness there. Uh, I believe they've got Missouri. M might be Missouri, all kinds of fleshed out. But there's one state that's right near Idaho where they've kind of deleted a lot of stuff near the border. So when SCS releases their, uh, their uh, map for Idaho, um, Coast to Coast can then come in and redo the border states, the, the cities near the border of Idaho to make them all connect properly. Right on. Are we coming towards a tunnel? That'd be really cool. Haven't heard a horn in a tunnel yet. Whoops. That's what the window sounds like down. And that's the window up. Right on. Yep, I believe my wife is home. Yep, no tunnels. But I want to hear the horn going through a tunnel. Or even under an overpass. Because they've added reverb uh, to those areas. Okay. Coming over. Coming over one more. There we go. Moving along. So yeah, uh, with the event, they're rebuilding a bridge, and I believe it's in Italy. Um, which means that um, if I take part in the event, want to not go through this too fast. So uh, if I take part in the event, I might get some little badge icons, maybe a paint job, something like that. I haven't uh, taken part in the last couple uh, events they've held in uh, SCS. Uh, so it would be nice to get some of the accoutrements that you get from taking part in these events. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing in the ETS2 videos. But yeah, so hopefully you guys haven't missed the series too much. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks since I did a recording of the trucking. But we're here now, and we're moving along. I heard it a little bit. Wrinkly, and a severe slowdown. Not sure what that was about. Okay, back out over here. I think those cars would want to go a little faster. Especially in a 70. But I thought about getting vanity plates for the car or for the truck. Uh, like 
Jibba or EE show. Um, but they're too damn expensive. It's just expensive. I'm just going to get standard plates. Also thought, uh, ooh, little jitter there. Thought about getting conservation plates. Uh, when you get plates that are like, uh, looks like Little Rock up ahead. Uh, when you get conservation plates, the uh, a, a portion of your registration fees go towards the conservation fund of the state in which you live. And uh, my wife and I do like to go to the state parks and campgrounds and things like that. The uh, museums and the wildlife refuges and, and, and refuges, refuge, refuge, refuge. Uh, the wildlife uh, places. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it was something I thought about. Oh, what's going on up here? Yeah. Really? The trailer hit the sign. So, 1% damage on the trailer, just to take the very next exit. Oh yeah, I got the windows open, by the way. Oh, is it actually turning me around? It is. It's turning me back around. Okay, let's get up onto the main highway part here. And uh, let's pull over. Flashers on. Parking brake on. Put it down in the fourth. Take a look at the map. All right. So, uh, which way am I going? I'm supposed to be heading in this direction, but for some reason, I'm heading in this direction. So, I'm going to uh, get off. Let's uh, come over here. I'm going to get off here. Right? Because I'm not going back towards Nashville. And I'm not going back to that spot. Then we're going to come over here. Then we're going to come over here. Right? Yep. So, I don't know what's going on with this, but... Alright, so... Escape. I don't know why I restarted the truck. Oop, park brake's on. And uh, just to be certain here, we're going to take a right at the next off-ramp. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I think instead of skirting around these little disasters and, and instances they put in the way, I'm going to just start uh, following them, doing what it says, 
and uh, going with the automatic routing. All right, now I should be able to go straight through to where I'm headed. doing that weirdness that it was showing with me going back up to the highway and going back down. Ooh, $2,500 from Scarlet. Company's making money. We got almost $91,000 in the bank. I'll take that any day. Okay, so, yeah, staying in this lane. Yep, okay. Little Rock, Arkansas discovered, very good. checking the road map again because it's where it's getting to the hinky part it wants me to come down here and go back there but I don't want to go that way I want to come down here and I want to go I want to cancel that Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled on the things it wants me to do. coming up on that weird interchange. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm going right up to my destination. Taking through this yellow.
little jittery in here. Must be a pretty built up piece of the map. Ned's making grilling great again. Woohoo! Still doing good on fuel, about half a tank. I'll probably fill up before we take the next job. It's still wanting me to turn around and do that stupid thing where I go back up to the highway and back down again. And I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Super concentration time, trying to make sure I, uh, I don't blow past our destination. Driving here on these windy roads at night. It is a lovely view out here in the backwoods. Whoop. Oh, you want to pass, huh? You did not just do that. Yes, you did. Whoops. What happened there? Guess I'll have to stop at a repair shop while I'm in town as well. Mount Ida. Sweet. Still want me to turn around? Thank goodness the copper was all the way up here. Didn't see that take place. Back out on these windy roads. I'm gonna roll my window up. It's a little windy out. The 
it's saying our ETA is now 5.30 p.m. on a Saturday. We're going to the map. There's the drop-off point. So, yeah. No. So that's wrong. That's based on me having to turn around, go back up to the highway, and come back. Jeez, I'm crow. Well, look at that moon. Got some windy flipping roads back here. I'm just saying. I know the speed limit's 50, but uh, I'm going to keep it at 46. 45, 46, because, yeah. This is tight. Oh, that looks beautiful out there. You know what? Um, okay. We're going to get ourselves a screenshot. So we'll go up. Is that as high up as we can get? And back out. Um, how about this way? There it is. That's the shot we're looking for. That's a beautiful shot. Escape, escape. Got somebody behind me. Keep it in 15th so I got some uh, room to uh, foot it. Right, let them go around. Let's uh, double check the map on that. Yep, that is correct. Then I'm going to turn right. Fort Smith discovered. Excellent.
coming up on a traffic circle. Recruitment agency, very good. Good, there's a mechanics garage right across the street. And... Right on. Okay. So, where do they need it? They need it up there? We can do that. I can pull forward and straight into something. I'm guessing I gotta pull into this middle row. Let me see if I can get a view of it. Yep, right there on the other side. Okay. So it's not a pull through, it's a back end. So, let's get an outside view. because of the bounding box on the trailer. There we go. Whoops. Back it up. Okay. Now we got it.
Okay, now let's see if we can just go straight back in. Because it's very hard to see that back cone. There it is. Okay. Neutral. Park and brake. Take a look outside. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see how much we get paid, folks. 1% damage on the trailer, but they still gave us an excellent. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, we made 15 grand on that job. We got 1,000 XP. That's awesome. Uh, let's look at the company offers. Going from here, we've got Arkansas, South Carolina. Yeah, we're not taking those jobs. Let's go back out here. I am going to go to the garage across the street, get repaired up. We're going to get us some fuel. Well, I'll get some sleep. I'll get some fuel. And uh, next week, we'll take another trip heading towards Idaho. So... If you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, tips, tricks, mods you'd like to see, put them in the comments below because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of American Truck Simulator. Peace. That's a big 10-4, good buddy. I'm going to hop off the big road and pay the water bill. I'm 10-7 on the side. Oh. Uh...